friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hyper mature cataract with fibrosed anterior capsule with a very hard nucleus let us observe this surgery the main incision has been made this is a side port on the right side of the main incision at around 8 o'clock this is another side port on the left side of the main incision at around 130 o'clock and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule and you will see that there is fibrous tissue just underneath the anterior capsule and involving the anterior capsule as the dye is washed out you can see there is fibrous tissue just beneath the anterior capsule 2% SPMC is injected into the anterior chamber and now I am attempting capsulorexis 26 case band needle is introduced a cut is made just at the periphery of this fibrous tissue at one o'clock and now I try to do orexis and as I go to six o'clock tends to go to periphery but I could retrieve it but here see there is fibrous tissue and it is attached to the anterior capsule if I pull this fibrous tissue vigorously I may land up in destroying the genules from the other side I completed rexis now visco is injected and I find that there is s people has become small so at this time I apply a people expansion device this is B hex people expander invented by Dr. Subhan Bhattacharji of Kolkata alternate flanges are tucked it is devised on the principle that the iris can go above and below this device and the device is uniplanar very thin device can be used in shallow anterior chambers and now as I try to remove some superficial cortical lens matter I find that the exposed the rexis is quite small for this hard nucleus and I can enlarge the rexis in the superu nasal quadrant so I introduce a scissor cut the rexis margin at 12 o'clock take a uterator forceps and enlarge the rexis in this area and now injecting visco I go again with the feco needle into the anterior chamber and I try direct chop and this is my way of doing it just bury the tip in front of the 
main incision in this case I made a small trench buried the teeth completely went through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and divided the nucleus see how beautifully it divides I call this technique submarine chop because the fecal needle goes through the substance of the nucleus the nucleus has been divided completely into two heminuclei and now each heminucleus is being subdivided into two large fragments one heminucleus has been and this fragment is very large so I divide it again into two smaller pieces and then I emulsify this piece and then the adjacent small piece then I pick up the fragment on the right side divide it into two pieces so one heminucleus has been practically divided into four small pieces and they are emulsified and removed FECO power ultrasonic energy used in this case is 75 percent this is Faro's from Oatley Switzerland and then this is the other heminucleus it is being divided again into four pieces and each small nuclear piece is emulsified and removed now in this case I can I can see that the posterior capsule is not far behind so for the last small piece I'm going to use an, an instrument which I devised I call it a posterior capsule protector it's a thick blunt instrument rounded edge it goes behind the nuclear piece rests the instrument rests on the booster capsule and the contour of the instrument is such that we get a lot of space just above this instrument and the FECO needle can uh, emulsify the nuclear piece remaining at the iris plane now this small bit of nucleus is not coming to the FECO tip and I don't want to struggle further I want to come out inject visco push this nuclear piece inferiorly and then try again so I came out this is 2% SPMC I'm injecting SPMC through the side port and the piece goes at 6 o'clock now I again go into the anterior chamber with the FECO needle the PCP posterior capsule protector is just resting on the posterior capsule and the nuclear piece is picked up and it is emulsified over this instrument and now cortical cleanup is done viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and then cortical cleanup is done going through the side ports this is a 23G Simcoe cannula one can use bimanual irrigation aspiration thorough cleaning of cortex is done there is some fibrosis of the posterior capsule but the central area is clear and the posterior capsule is intact nicely protected and now I inject visco into the anterior chamber fill off the anterior chamber nicely and then implant a single piece monofocal 
intraocular lens. This is an aspheric lens from GNG. It is Technis 1. It's a beautiful lens, no glistenings. The lens remain, remains clear. It's a time tested good lens. And now the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag. Some more visco is injected, and now is the time to remove the B hex pupil expander. The B hex pupil expansion device is held, it is untucked and it is just pulled out. We don't need any injector system for application and removal of this VHEX people expansion device. Now viscoelastic substance is removed thoroughly. I removed a lot of visco with Simco first. That portion of the surgery has been edited out. And now I am using this bimanual irrigation aspiration. We can see some prolapse of iris tissue through these sideboards. Now how to deposit this? When you want to deposit the iris tissue, do one thing first. Remove some fluid from the anterior chamber from another side where iris prolapse has not occurred then you just push the iris in the anterior chamber. It becomes very easy if you remove some fluid from another side port or from the main incision where iris prolapse has not occurred. And now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. If we hydrate the corneal stroma, these stab wounds get closed. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. You can see that the people is round. There is no trauma to the sphincter pupillae. So BHEX people expansion device doesn't cause sphincter trauma. This is formation of anterior chamber and conclusion of the case. Here are some post-op pictures. Cornea is clear, anterior chamber is deep and quiet. Uh, intraocular pressure is normal. Unaided vision is 6 by 12. The patient is very happy because the patient could not see with this eye for almost two years. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical skills. Learn to use a people expansion device when the people becomes small intraoperatively.